We're having that once in a lifetime winter that no one ever expects. Yeah, we might be in big, big trouble. And it feels like every day we're trying to prevent another disaster. Originally, I thought it would be easier than this. <laughs> but we're having a blast. Feeling very comfortable. Instead of a wall sit, it's a roof sit. And tackling each challenge head on. I have everything except for the things I need. Subscribe and come along today. I'm kind of stuck up here now. <laughs> As we work to stop our roof from caving in. Dee, 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 dee. What's up guys and good morning. We are just getting ready to head out for the day or at least head out to the garage. We have a lot of stuff we still have to do today. Yesterday we did some chores and the one thing that we did do yesterday was getting the bumper and the winch installed. Now that we got that installed, we've got to get back to working on the garage. We still have a lot of plumbing, a lot of electrical, all types of odds and ends that we have to tie up. We're gonna be doing that today, but first our garbages are overflowing. So we gotta get the garbages out of here. There is nothing more motivating to take out the trash than a bunch of poopy diapers. <laughs> Small victory for the day. Looks like the Batmobile. I love this truck. Pretty cool, huh? I'm so happy. Somebody didn't run it into the rusty, it'd be really nice. <sighs> you keep reminding me as soon as I forget. No. Still have to fix that. And that. You know, we never expected to live in a place where you had to like pack out your own trash, at least down to like a dumpster at the bottom of the mountain. Sometimes you gotta pay the price to have really nice things in your life and to live up here in a beautiful place, you gotta bring your trash to the bottom of the mountain. Thing needs some steps on it. Yeah, I definitely need some steps. I'll have to get some cool motorized ones like we had on the last truck. Seriously. All right, well, now that we're. What's going on here? What? Oh no. Look at that. <laughs> Son? I yeah. guess. Dang. We got, a, we got a couple of things we could do right now. We're gonna unload these garbage cans and then. We might try and get up on the roof over here and shovel it off a little bit. We have a couple of seams on the top of the igloo that are not sealed up. We ran out of zip tape. And so now whenever the snow starts to melt off of the roof, it starts to drip down these seams and it floods that room with water and that room is freezing. So then it just floods that room with ice. So I would like to get up and remove some of the snow where we don't have the seams taped and then like actually tape them. But the problem is we kind of have to like shovel all that snow off and then it has to dry. So I don't know how long that will take, but it's early in the day. Maybe we'll hop up there, see if we can expose the problems. And then we do actually have some zip tape. So maybe we can get those seams sealed up. This is his birthday month. This is Frank's birthday month. He's turning six. Six. Good old man, Frank. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so I'm a little conflicted. It's still a little cold outside. I don't really want to go hike into waist deep snow to climb a ladder to get on the roof to shovel the snow off. But the fact of the matter is, we kind of have to do it today. So even though I don't want to do it, we're going to go outside, we're going to climb on the roof. And don't worry, it's not a super steep pitch. Yeah. The snow is adhered to the roof, so the snow is not gonna like slough and take us with it. Uh, but we're gonna go stand in the snow up there, try and shovel off the seams that aren't taped. Even if the snow does slough, it's a 412, which is really shallow. I've like walked on the roof before. And also it just sloughs off onto more snow. So like there's nothing over there on the side of the roof where they're gonna be taking snow off. So I'm all in support of doing this today. Oh boy. Sun goes down, but we get back again. 
Yeah, seriously, where is Bubba? Brandon went to go and grab the ladder. Instead of trying to do something precarious on the backside here or climb up through the snow, we're just gonna take the ladder and lean it across the roof and across this mound right here. And then we're just gonna walk across the ladder like we're climbing Mount Everest. <laughs> and then once we're up on top of the snow, I'm not actually worried. And the place where we need to remove the snow is at the very top. So we'll climb up there, get all that snow removed, and then let the sun dry out that section of the roof for a little while. Then we'll come back out and throw the tape down. <laughs> There we go. Slow down, mama. Why you talk so mean? Good Lord, man, shit. It ain't what it is saying. You got nice clothes, very nice shoes. Put it down at the bar. Little tunes and homemade booze, but it always goes to the A lot of ice up here. Really? The problem is that like we've been heating this part of the garage. Yeah. So this part of the garage has been getting warm, melting the snow. The snow run the, the water runs down this way, runs into this unheated part of the garage that has snow on it and just freezes again. Yeah. So this whole thing is just like a big ice dam. Ow. basically need the snowblower up there. They are gonna be working hard for a little bit longer. It's just icy and uh, packed down hard. It's not steep and it's not dangerous and it's a gorgeous day. They're probably sweating already, honestly, um, but they've got a good chunk of work ahead of them. I am happy to report that after mounting our Starlink satellite yesterday, the signal has been amazing. Our video uploaded last night to post today um, in I think two hours, which is like, super fast that's amazing for us so that's all going really well i think i am going to go inside and make myself some hot chocolate because even though they are working really hard it's a little cold to just be standing in the snow <laughs> Leo had his 15 month checkup yesterday. <sighs> and he's still pretty small, but he's doing really well. He's uh, still only in the fifth percentile for weight, but he's at 65th percentile for height and 92 for head circumference. He's got some big brains in there. I'm convinced that's where all his weight is. He's doing really well. He's sleeping great, which we are so happy about. Um, and he's eating more and more and we're finding new foods that he likes every day. So I think things are going well. Right now, of course, there's always like something new to worry about as a parent. And now it's speech. So we're narrating everything. We're modeling everything we can. We're talking to him as much as we can. We're reading a lot um, and it's coming. He's, he's still not really vocalizing, but his comprehension is there. So I, he can follow directions and he understands what we're saying. 
and I'm just trying not to stress out about it too much, but I'm sure it will work out in the next few months. And in the meantime, we're just going to keep um, reiterating and vocalizing for him. <laughs> How's it going up there? Uh, originally, I thought it would be easier than this. <laughs> and then when we got up here and found all this ice, I thought it was going to be harder than it's turning out being. So kind of a best case, worst case at the same time kind of scenario. Getting that cardio workout in. Yeah, really, it's just my lower back. I think I'm going to be paralyzed soon. Oh, please just like, you know, go slow, engage your core. You should come up here and give us a hand. OK, let's do that. This is my Everest moment. Dun 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 dun. You stay here. Oh. What handrail? Lika, don't do it. Oh jeez, it's really deep. It's your uh, moment for glory, and Lika's up the ladder. Wow. How'd you get up here? I had full confidence in uh, Lika's ability to climb the ladder. Allie had no confidence. She was very worried about Lika, but Lika is a freaking wild beast. She is like a majestic animal. I guarantee she's just gonna jump off the roof into the snow and also be fine. Are you on the roof? That was her first ladder. Are you on the roof? I mean, it's like four rungs and they're like flat. She basically just kind of jumped the gap, but she did it. That's my girl. Don't go off right there, Lika. We just gotta teach her how to shovel. Yeah. We'll be all set. Start digging, Lika. Start digging. Oh my love. You're such a fragile thing, I know. And with the winter comes the ice, the snow. But I'm it all. She's so happy to be up here. Good girl. Don't worry about the cold just yet. The trees haven't started to shed. Just feel the summer sun as it warms our bed. people who do this for a job they like you hire them to come out and clear snow off of your roof if the snow gets too too deep on your roof and you're worried about it like causing structural damage but those guys just shovel off the big fluffy stuff on top <laughs> they don't even get down to the ice layer like what we just did we had to remove all of the ice and all of the snow now the sun is going to turn this zip sheathing to where it's looking like that nice and dry and tacky then we're going to get our zip tape Hopefully we have enough to do basically like two and a half passes. And then uh, like one, two, three, a couple little tiny boys. Uh. We have like two 20% rolls left. So oh, good luck. Probably don't have enough tape, but we're going <laughs> to do our best. What do you do? Yay! This isn't very comfortable. It's like a quad exercise. <laughs> Instead of a wall sit, it's a roof sit. All right, so we came, we saw, we conquered, we moved all of the snow off of the roof. It looks like really good. And by looking at it, you would be like, oh, I bet that was easy. And it definitely wasn't. It was really painful and my back hurts now. But uh, we're gonna let the sun kind of dry up all the zip sheathing, evaporate all of the water off of there, and we're gonna come back in like an hour, hour and a half, put some zip tape on all of the seams that we have tape for, roll them really good, and then hopefully water will stop leaking into the igloo and creating little ice castles in there. But for now, I think we're gonna go inside and work on some electrical. All right, Lika. Lika, come. Oh. 
Don't use the ladder, it'll be too difficult. You're not gonna like that. Jump. Good girl. Good girl, good girl. This is not confidence building. Do not use ladders in the future. Oh yeah, the ladder's not going anywhere. But I hope you know that I You did it! <laughs> the one thing I am worried about is that big chunk of snow up there on the peak behind Brandon. If the snow melts and that slides down onto our freshly cleared roof and we come back out here and it's all soaked again, I'm gonna be very upset. <laughs> all right, so yesterday I went to the grocery store I did a little stocking. Really? I got, some, got some snacks up here. Oh my gosh. Some garage snacks. I got some different types of drinks. Really? You know, Brandon likes the NOS. I got Mountain Dew, oh. Dr. Pepper, Gatorade. <laughs> I'm feeling a little bit. Ew. Feeling a little bit of that 230 though. So I'm. Ew. That I'm is. Definitely. I knew that Allie would be so mad yeah, about these. You should definitely not buy those. And that's the reason I'm doing it. <laughs> it's not the reason I'm doing it, but I knew that Allie would be. Mad. Ew. Yeah, I'm just gonna run uh, an electrical circuit through this wall and then put like three outlets on this wall. We'll go up and over, put two outlets on that wall. And then we basically just need to run two circuits, one for the like kitchenette and one for the bathroom. Cool. And then we just gotta run some wires for the lights and the electrical will be done in here. Nice. We'll switch over there for the outdoor lights. Cool. Very exciting. It's like the Rainforest Cafe. There's a jungle, but it's actually just like a glacier <laughs> melting through the door frame. <clears throat> Not for long. Real sensory integrational experience. Nice and drippy. Yeah. I think we're gonna head up onto the roof, tape those seams, they should be nice and dry by now. And then by the time we get done taping those, come back and assess our plumbing situation. See if maybe we can get our drains thrown together. Cool. I have everything except for the things I need. <laughs> so we're gonna head up, start taping those seams, and then when we come back, probably finish drilling some holes and running some wire in here to get it ready for electrical kind of brainstorm and make sure we have everything for the drain system in here. Yeah. Should be good. We're making a lot of progress today. Got about a third of what we needed. <sighs> the big thing is we got the big gap behind the ledger board. That's where it was leaking absolutely the worst. Now we got this little strip, that little strip, <laughs> and from here to there, and then our three lateral pieces. <laughs> it's better than nothing. It's better than nothing, you know? I wish we had more tape, <laughs> because it's a perfect day. Yeah. It's one o'clock. In true Trenton Alley fashion, we've decided uh, we're just gonna go for it. We don't have very much time left in the day. We actually have some appointments this afternoon, but we're gonna run over to Home Depot right now, see if we can pick up tape. We don't even know if it's in stock or if they even carry it. Come back and see if we can tape this roof before it snows again. Yeah, the problem is if it snows again, it'll freeze and we'll have to get up here and shovel it all and do it all again. And like while we have it cleared, it's a nice sunny dry day where the tape can actually like adhere really well. We're gonna go grab some tape and finish this job by the end of the day. Alright, 
we're here at Builder's First Source, but I won't refuse to call it that. It's BMC in my <laughs> eyes. So we're here at BMC to get some zip tape. Hopefully they have some in stock. Maybe we should build another garage right here that we can just put the tractor and the snowmobile in. You just are... Just extend the man cave over like another 20 feet, you know? That is One... a good idea, guys. Brandon? Never, we're running out of space we're on never this gonna property. be done building <laughs> <laughs> we're gonna have to move we're gonna have to, hire, gonna have to hire kevin we've got the tape and we've got the daylight and these guys are wasting no time trying to finish taping this section of the roof we finished the taping that was it <laughs> as you can see now this roof up here looks like, you know, a brick pattern, like up there. We got all of the seams taped. All of the holes were already gooped, so we didn't have to worry about that. We just had to tape all the seams. Now everything is nice and sealed, even though it's the middle of the winter. We're not gonna be having any more water intruding into the man cave. And uh, now we can start doing the plumbing and electrical in there. We were kind of toying around with the idea of like putting some plastic over the door and then having Dean pipe the furnace into that room to heat that room up to try to melt the floor, but we also don't really want it to turn into a giant swampy mess in there and that's most likely what would happen. And we've also realized that we're eating through all of our propane, so we don't want to use any more than necessary. Yeah, we might be in big, big trouble uh, come like April or May. Are you? Where are you? Oh, I missed it. This entire roof just completely sloughed off. Luckily, Brandon was nice and safe inside the igloo trents over here. The dogs were right next to me, but that was epic. Holy cow. Yeah. That was weirdly perfect timing. That could have been bad if we were all standing right over there. But if that's not a sign of springtime, I don't know what is. Well, I climbed up here to push that chunk of snow off. Kind of stuck up here now. <laughs> I got a sled down. Lika, it's okay. Oh. <laughs> Ooh. Like a cavern right there. Yeah, there's a big well here too, so be careful. I'll just come down over here. Oh, really? Oh my gosh. <laughs> The other side of the roof completely sloughed. There's just one big section sitting on the eave on this side and uh, it'll probably fall off in a couple days, but that side of the roof is completely taped and sealed up and this side already was, so it's looking good. I think now we can actually start doing stuff in the igloo and nice. not have to worry about getting wet. Yeah, that's awesome. <laughs> oh, all right, guys, we've had a lot of hard days of work, but today was a very strenuous day of work. My back is killing me. Yeah. That snow was super heavy, but we did get a lot done. It was really you. All credit goes to you and Brandon. And Brandon. Yeah, yeah for we, sure. We were out there trying to bust our butts to make it happen. And you did really good. I mean, it's important because yeah. our roof could cave in. Like, yeah. we've built this like building very, very strong, and like the structural engineers have like accounted for like all different types of scenarios. But when that much snow starts piling up and we're having like this record breaking winter and Seriously? more and more snow keeps coming, the roof could absolutely cave in. So And the way it's frozen, it's just continuing to accumulate snow. Like there was no sloughing until right. you guys started to like chip away at that ice block at the base of the roof. So right. it's just been like building up all winter long. <laughs> and next year we'll have a metal roof on there, so that won't be the case. It'll yeah. most likely slide off a lot easier. So Anyway, wow. if you guys enjoyed coming along on this adventure with us today, make sure you show us by giving us a big thumbs up on today's video. Consider subscribing to our channel if you haven't already. Thank you guys. We love you. And we'll see you guys on the next one. Adios. When the morning